What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Hunter's Detailing video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the complications of running two vans, having two employees, and just the headaches and the ups and downs, the good, bad, happy, and sad, man. Let's get it. So the first thing, the first headache is the gas. Reyes, man, what about the gas? We're driving around a whole lot, people cancel. Um, I have the other van come with us when they cancel and then they're driving from 20 minutes away to where I'm at. And then I got this big V8 and it's running out of gas. So I'm dropping $160 in gas every three days, two days, whatever that may be. And I'm just trying to figure it out, how to position my guys in the gas. Money is no joke, man, but it's the trial and error of running a business. And it's just a blessing to have this problem because we are progressing. That's what it's about. So the gas money is nothing because I see a way out that rhyme, didn't it? So yeah, so now we got double the supplies. That's another thing, the supplies. And um, I've been on my guys about, hey, stop spraying so much. Stop pouring so much soap. Managing that the proper way, letting them know how much they need to be using. Um, I have to go to the detail store, making sure they're supplied when they run out. And because they're not staying on top of that stuff. So I gotta make sure I tell my guys like, hey, pay attention, let me know when you run out. You're gonna get caught out there with no soap and get caught out there with no tire cleaner. So I'm just managing them, staying on them, pay attention to this. And it, and it costs a lot of money, you know what I mean? If they're just running through it and me managing that and keeping track of that and it, sometimes it could be a headache. So just one step at a time if you're doing this business and just taking a breather, doing that right now because I'm going through it right now. So one step at a time. You know what I think will really help out for that? Have a checklist. Okay. In the thing, that way, at the end of their like right now, they're gonna drop off the van. Okay. Have a checklist. All right. How many towels do I have? Come on. How much soap do I have? Fifty percent. Right. Quarter. And then that way, they leave the checklist right there, and then you could check it mm. and be like, "Oh, they're running low on towels. Let me restock." Got you. You go. And then maybe I should have them come and meet at my house and pick up the stuff that they need before they head out too. Yes. So that could be another because they have a hard time doing that when we're done because they're so tired. So I could give them the option of, hey, you could do it right now, or the checklist that you checked, you could do it in the morning uh, before you head out. Yes. I think a checklist so, yeah. would help out a lot though. That'd be a lot better, okay. All right, so another problem that I'm having is booking. So I have to make sure both vans are getting enough work so that I, my objective is to make double the money. You know, if I'm making $600 a day, I need to make that with the other van. So. In the beginning, when I started, when I started with one van, we were getting hit with a lot of people. Bam, bam, bam. And then two days out of the week, it's not a lot of people. It's two cars. You know, it's detailing is random. So I went and got another van because I believed, you know, that it's gonna be, I'm gonna make enough money, I'm gonna make a lot of money. So now I have to do extra. So if I was already promoting my business, now I gotta push that 10 times harder. Now I gotta turn on my Google ads, my Yelp ads, now I gotta you know, tell my guys, hey, start promoting, start posting on Instagram. So we gotta grind to get as just, just as much work as I have now. I gotta double that with the other van. So I've had both vans running for going on, going on two weeks now. Have you noticed that you had a lot of business for one van, but not a lot of business for two vans? You know what, it's been, it's been up and down. Really? So like, we'll start off like separated. Yeah. They'll knock out two cars, I'll knock out two by myself. And then we'll have uh, uh, one more detail and we'll all meet up and tackle that one. Mm -hmm. So that's how we've been doing it. But my objective is to not have to meet up. Mm -hmm. I want them to knock out four and me to knock out four. And then um, I need to hire another employee to work with me. So that's the next move is to hire somebody to work with me. I don't want them to have to meet up with me because that's gas money. So, you know, we got some work to be done. I know you mentioned the goal it sits hundred, but what's the big goal, Wayne? Ultimate goal is to get my shop. That's the ultimate goal. But I mean, I want each each van to be making one k, at least one k a day, uh, easy. That's how much work I want to come in. I know it could be done because I've been making that with this van with all three of us. You know, some days it'd be a thousand, some days it'd be twelve. I want both vans to be hitting one k. And then I'm gonna get a trailer. I wanna pop up, pop up shop at, at Coco's Tacos, man. I'm right next to the taco truck. What are you talking about the Coco's Tacos? What's, What's the game plan? 
the game plan at Coco's Tacos is we partnered up with Coco's Taco Truck, man, which is my uh, my, my brother, Arbet, that works with me. His mom owns a taco truck and we partnered up and we're gonna, I'm gonna figure out a way to, where she can hand out people my business cards with, you know, a percent off, you know? So I'm gonna pop up shop there with my tent. It's gonna have a nice, beautiful wrap on the tent with some flags out there on the side of the road. You know, we gonna go all in, you guys. I'm gonna make that area known for Coco's Tacos and detailing combo we're gonna work we're gonna work together on this one you guys be on the lookout for that so i'm gonna build that one up sheesh i'm gonna have to hire more people y'all gonna have to hire more people so i'm gonna need about two three more guys so wait let me get this straight you have two vans right now with two employees that you're trying to manage you got to prove and you're working on setting up a pop-up shop at coco's tacos you want to get hire another employee to help you with this van yes sir and you have a family Damn, wait, how do you balance everything? Man, one one day at a time, one step at a time, and making sure you staying prayed up and putting God first to keep you in line. Because man, I, I just wanna say, if it wasn't for God, I, I don't think I'd be able to hold, hold it together to you know get all this stuff done, man. But um, yeah, so hire a person for to rock with me. So once that get, get that all in line, then I'm gonna have to hire two, three more people to run the shop at Coco's Tacos. So you guys get to follow along on this journey and I'm speaking life into it. It's already in play. The tents are being made right now. All right, so if you guys enjoy this video and you guys are enjoying the journey, this is gonna be the channel where you guys are gonna get to see me from the bottom to the top. And I'm glad I could take you guys along with me on this journey. Like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill. We out.